29th session of the Council of Arab Housing and Reconstruction Ministers runs from December 18th to December 20th, 2022. Welcome back. Uh, well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with uh, um, um, Professor Sharif El Gohari, international consultant of uh, urban and uh, informal settlements. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Well, uh, Professor Gohari, uh, how do you see the importance and the themes uh, that are uh, being uh, the, the main themes of the 7th uh, Arab Housing uh, Conference, uh, which kicked off uh, today in the new administrative capital? Uh, in fact, uh, the th uh, 7th Arab Housing Conference today, uh, it is a big event, which, uh, of course, uh, hosted by the Ministry of Housing in Egypt. And uh, the, the importance of this conference uh, it's, uh, comes, of course, of its objective, which uh, in its title itself, when the, uh, the, 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 the title it is Towards Smart, Sustainable Cities and uh, Achieve Quality of Life. Yes. And uh, the, these two things, in fact, in the, the scope of this conference, uh, already uh, facing what uh, the urban uh, development uh, challenges in the Arab world, which it is uh, now, it is very important issues. Uh, this uh, title, um, especially the urbanism challenges, because a lot of Arab countries now facing, of course, uh, as uh, also the other countries, uh, you know, lack of uh, uh, you know, uh, economic uh, situation uh, okay, uh, based on what happened in the world now and also the urbanism uh, problem, uh, which uh, still uh, or remain uh, the powerful uh, of the, our 21st century uh, mega trend. Yes, uh, so uh, uh, Professor uh, Gohari also addressing uh, uh, the uh, conference, uh, the Arab League uh, Secretary General uh, Ahmed Abu al said the, uh, uh, the, that where uh, the, uh, uh, the conference is held is the new administrative capital, that six years ago the new administrative capital was just uh, uh, a desert, uh, but uh, thanks to the planning and political leadership achievement, uh, uh, will and courage. What's your comment on this? Um, in fact, um, uh, that uh, of course, that is a project, one of the unique project of the Egyptian government, and uh, of course, like I said, before, the urbanism is the full trend of the Yes. The Egyptian government, in fact, um, yani went through this big project. Uh, capital city, which of course will uh, remove um, all the governmental, uh, you know, uh, ministries and buildings from old Cairo, yes. which already uh, crowded with these uh, administrative uh, buildings, and on the same time uh, putting a lot of pressure in the traffic, in the infrastructure of the old uh, Cairo. Yes. So, the trend of this uh, uh, project, which is a uh, new capital, already uh, one of the future uh, planning of Egyptian government for sustainable development, of course, and to uh, remove the pressure on the old cities. Uh, for that, uh, yani this is the issues, I think, related to the um, administrative capital mm -hmm. and its uniqueness, of course, and the speed which they built and already all the government and ministry now uh, already transferred to, to this uh, city and uh, they already of course uh, re uh, removed these uh, crowded uh, buildings um, in the old city and uh, now also the Egyptian government is looking for uh, to uh, use uh, the old uh, buildings of the ministries and the governmental organization which are transferred to the Egyptian capital uh, to use it for uh, touristic issues, uh, touristic uh, activities, and uh, also services of the people. So it is, uh, in fact, a unique uh, any issues and the project which already uh, became now an, uh, on the land. Yeah. 
Yes. Uh, so, Professor uh, Gohari, uh, now uh, with the uh, 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 the title of uh, the conference uh, towards uh, smart, sustainable cities. So, the smart and integrated cities we know uh, it is, uh, of course, we know it the integrated cities and the smart cities. But uh, the word sustainable cities. Could you uh, uh, explain more concerning the sustainable? What does it mean? Yes, uh, in fact, the meaning of, um, of course, smart and integrated and uh, sustainable cities, um, it is a trend of all um, the nations now. Yes. And it includes, of course, um, energy efficient buildings, uh, resilience and low carbon buildings, uh, use of uh, waste management facilities, uh, mobility of urban water and management, yes. Uh, also uh, using um, uh, waste management facilities and reuse of materials. Uh, so all these elements are part of this um, new trend in the uh, urban planning of the new cities. Yes. And taking into consideration, of course, the, the environmental issues, which is the most important uh, challenge uh, facing. And, uh, you know, uh, and this is one of the um, scopes or one of the elements which we already discussed in during COP27 uh, about the sustainability of the cities and its uh, smartness and um, integration uh, towards, um, of course, environmentally friendly uh, issues and strategies. Yes. Yes. So, uh, Professor Gohari, also the Minister of Housing, uh, Dr. Asim al Ghazdar, uh, said that the conference opens uh, the way to new joint Arab uh, visions to develop the Arab housing and plan uh, sustainable uh, cities. Uh, what's your comment on this uh, concerning the cooperation and the joint uh, uh, vision between the uh, Arabs concerning the developing of sustainable uh, cities? Uh, in fact, uh, the Arab world, we already have a lot of experience in urban planning and housing. Uh, some of the countries already uh, had passed uh, a lot of process during that, like Egypt, uh, uh, Morocco, Dif uh, Dubai, uh, like uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, Saudi Arabia. So uh, the experience already um, uh, faced by these countries already gives uh, best practices for the other countries. And this, um, in fact, uh, cooperation between the Arab countries uh, can help, of course, in the, uh, putting the strategies uh, also uh, in, in the urban planning uh, issues, in the smart cities uh, project, in also informal settlement development uh, planning and also implementation, uh, <coughs> also in water management, uh, also in, uh, uh, in the initiation of decent uh, life and also the quality of life uh, or the quality uh, of the citizens, you know. Uh, and these issues already, uh, a lot of countries uh, in the Arab world had some experience and the other, of course, still uh, starting their programs for that. This initiation, I think, for cooperation between the Arab countries will be, uh, be uh, give a lot of advantages. Uh, advantages uh, to the, all the Arab countries and also uh, the people or the, the, the Arab uh, citizens, you know, yes. we will get uh, also the benefit from this uh, initiation. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information. Professor Sharif al Gohari, International Consultant of Urban and International Settlements. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you. Thank you.